Hello, and welcome to the Stuart Morris Textiles Colorful Sock Mending Tutorial. I made this video because I noticed that my way of sock mending is just a little different than some others, so I thought I would share my methods with you. Also, I like to add a lot of color, and here's a foolproof way. To start off with, you're going to need a sock with a big hole. A little bit obvious. Next, you're going to need a darning needle, which is curved at the end and as thick as a tapestry needle. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, some wool or cotton yarn depending on what your sock is made out of. I am using a fingering weight cotton yarn today, and you can use embroidery floss in a pinch. And lastly, we're going to need a darning egg or mushroom. If you don't have one of these, have a look around your house. I am using the base of a children's toy pictured here. You can use an apple or an orange. Let's start off by putting the darning tool in the sock and positioning the hole in the center of the tool. If you notice, I'm keeping the sock with the correct side out, which is a little bit different than other methods. Secure the sock with a hair tie or a rubber band. You can skip this step, but I highly recommend it for keeping tension. You can also use your hand. Next, thread your darning needle with the first color yarn you'd want to use. Make sure you aren't using a knot at the end of your yarn. Knots can be uncomfortable down the line, so let's skip that step here. Enter the sock a few centimeters away from your hole and bring it about a centimeter from the edge of your sock hole. Make sure to leave a long tail of about 10 centimeters hanging off the side of your project. With your darning needle, sew once around the hole a centimeter from the edge all the way around. Once you have made your way around the hole, begin to create a warp by reaching across the other side of the hole, catching a little bit of your sock on the outside of the stitching you've created around the hole, and repeat this going back and forth across your hole, each time catching a tiny bit of sock on the outside of the hole. Do this a few times if you need to, back and forth, to get an even warp of equidistant parallel stitches. When you finish with your warp yarn, to change colors, take the tip of your darning needle and enter the sock fabric at the edge of your warp. Exit the sock fabric a few centimeters off to the side. Again, leave a 10 centimeter tail and don't use a knot. With a different color yarn, go ahead and thread your yarning darning needle. Again, without knotting the end of your yarn. Entering off to the side again, position your darning needle so that the starting point is the lower right hand corner of your mend if you are right handed, or the lower left hand corner of your mend if you are left handed. Weave your weft yarn through the red warp yarns, using your needle to beat down the warp yarn as you go. Once you get to the end of the row, catch a bit of sock on the outside of the initial stitched ring, turn around, and work the opposite direction. Do this loosely all the way up your sock hole. This next part is just a little tricky to explain, so stay with me. When you've gotten to the end of your weaving, Turn your work upside down, catching a bit of sock fabric at the end of your last row. Begin weaving again in the same way you have just done, going over and under the exact same warp threads for each row, catching a little bit of sock on the outside of your initial stitch circle at the end of each row. Here I'm going to catch a little bit of sock before I start the next row. You will have two identically woven threads for each woven row.
To finish with this color, you will again enter your sock fabric with the tip of your darning needle and exit a few centimeters from your initial stitch circle off to the side, leaving a 10 centimeter hanging tail. I don't need to say it, but I'll just remind you, no knots are needed here. Next, grab your third and final collar and thread your darning needle. Begin again in the same way you have added yarn in the last two times, off to the side leaving a tail. This time, make sure you are positioning your darning needle to emerge from the underside of your sock between the two yarns at the lower right hand corner of your mend, or the lower left hand side if you are left handed. With your blue yarn, weave between the two identically woven white yarns in the opposite way, going over warp threads when they go under and vice versa. This might be a little tricky and you might have to dig out the red warp threads, but your darning needle makes this very easy. At the end of each row, thread your darning needle between the two white weft rows and pop it back out between the next two identically woven white weft rows. Continue in this way, weaving blue yarn between each set of identically woven white threads. There should be two rows of white between each blue row. Finish up with your blue yarn the same way you have done with your last two threads, off to the side with a 10 centimeter tail. Next, take your sock off your darning mushroom and turn it inside out, and put it back on the darning mushroom so that the underside is shown. With the tip of your darning needle, pull the extra darning thread through so that all of your ends are now showing up on the other side of your sock. Once you have them all pulled out, thread your darning needle with any of the yarn ends and begin to weave this yarn diagonally through the back of your woven darn. As you can see here, I'm heading from right to left, moving one row over and down for each stitch. I'm going to do this at least three times, but here I'm going to do it for five stitches so that I can make sure and have a very secure end. To secure your thread to keep it from coming undone, turn your darn upside down and continue weaving in your yarn end by heading the opposite direction, weaving right beside where you have just woven in. Continue in this way for each of your yarn ends. Remember no knots are added because the weaving in of your ends is sufficient to hold your work. When you have finished, snip off your remaining yarn and flip your sock right side out so that you can admire your work. I hope that this was helpful for everyone. Make sure to tag me on Instagram if you give my colorful mending method a try. I would love to see what everybody comes up with. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoy mending.